Shalom. If you've been learning the Hebrew alphabet, the alphabet in letters two by two, you know that we've had 13 lessons and that makes 26 letters. Because you're taking Hebrew, I know that you're very smart and you have figured out that there are 27 and there's one more we haven't learned. But before we do that, I want to go through all the vowels. We're going to cover about a dozen sounds. There are actually probably 20 if you're a native English speaker, so there's less than that. And let's just dive in and see how it goes. The first sound we're going to make is ah, uh, ah. Uh. Can you remember this letter? It's the nun. It makes an N sound. The ah uh vowel has two forms. They look like this. They both say na, na like shana na na by the way the answer to every question that you're going to have about these vowels is spelling now sometimes these two vowels appear in another form with the two dots beside them and the answer to why does that happen is spelling in reading we don't differentiate between the figures with the dots and the figures without the dots they both say Na. All four figures on this page say na. Na. The vowel sound is ah. The next sound that we are going to discover is eh. Eh. Do you remember this letter? It's the tav. It makes a t, -t, t sound. Both of these vowels are going to say te. Te. Why are they different? Because spelling, te. Actually, a native Israeli will hear the difference between these two vowels, but probably you won't, and it doesn't really matter. We're going to read, we're going to say te. Now the figure with the three dots will also appear with the two dots beside it. It doesn't change the sound. All three figures on this page say te, te. The vowel sound is eh. What do these two pictures have in common? Well, they're both some kind of fit. This is the next vowel sound, i. This sound is marked by one, one dot beneath the consonant. You remember this letter? It's the bet. It says b. This together will say b, b. The vowel sound is i. This is a picture of an international phonetic symbol which is called schwa. It is the shortest vowel sound you can make and you use it all the time, you're just not aware of it. It causes confusion for example spelling. This is the sound you make when you say about, alone. Even though those words start with A, we don't say A about or A alone. We just make the tiniest vowel sound we can make. This sound is signified by these two dots, B, B. There are actually two pronunciation rules for this, which is vowel is called also schwa, the same as the international phonetic symbol, schwa, schwa is the same word. We're not going to get into the pronunciation rules. Sometimes it makes the smallest sound, b, and sometimes it's just silent at the end of the syllable. If you have a good idea, you say, oh, and it's at the top of your head because you have an idea. Oh, this sound is shown in two different forms. One has the vav beneath it, and the other one just has the dot, but they both make the same sound, oh. Do you remember this letter? This letter is the Lamed. Both these figures say low, low. However, this is not the spelling for the word no, in case you're familiar with that. The vowel sound is O. Oh. It comes to your head. Oh, I have a good idea. On the other hand, if you have a stomach ache, you might say oo, oo. This vowel form is represented in two different ways. One is the vav with the dot in the middle. Remember, it's about your stomach. Ooh. Also, these three dots on an angle, they also say ooh. Do you remember this letter? This is the mem. It makes mem sound, m sound. Both these figures say moo, moo. Think about the cow. 
moo, moo. Now the rest of the vowel sounds that we're going to cover are called diphthongs, or if you prefer diphthongs. A diphthong is a combination of two vowel sounds, and we have many of them in English. You're just not aware of them because they're not represented by different figures. These vowels have an extra hand. What's the picture for hand? Yud. So we're going to think of these vowels as adding a y, a y sound to the vowel that they go with. So this vowel, when we read it without the yud, that's ka, ka. If you think about taking the a ah and adding a, a y sound, i, 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 i. You're familiar with this sound perhaps from the word Adonai. This is how it's spelled with those two vowels, either of those vowels, plus the yud, both these figures say kai, kai. The next diphthong works on the two dots that we learned, two dots side by side. The pure sound of this vowel is ke, ke. If we add the y sound, we get k, k, k. This is going to sound like okay, a normal sound for us in English, k. If we just have the one dot, the pure sound is i, but if we add the y sound, y, we have ki, 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 e, ki, ki. Like, can I add the key to your car? If we have the pure o sound, that's just o, think about adding the y, koi, 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 like a goldfish in a pond. O e koi koi. Finally, we have the u. If we add the y to the u, we have ui ui. It doesn't really blend as well as the others, like uh, ui gui fui. Hebrew is not that hard. Kui kui. It's not used. This combination is not used that much either in just very specific uh, grammatical formation. So looking at the figures on this page, we're going to read them starting in the upper right, chi, and in the left column, chi, the second row, k, and ki, and the bottom row, koi, and kui. It might take you a little while to absorb these ideas. I suggest that you start practicing. There are programs online where you can, for example, listen to the Bible being read. And you can, uh, especially if you get on YouTube, you have an option on YouTube to slow it down. So you can start watching and listening at the same time, watching the words on the page, trying to listen for how the vowels go. We have one more figure to learn in the Aleph Bet. We're going to do something interesting. When we get there, we'll learn a verse with the pronunciation, the letters, and the vowels. In the meantime, Tasumatai Nayamal Hashemayim, keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.